The Arvada community is in mourning after a shooting in Old Town killed a police officer and another victim. The gunman also lost his life. And joining us now is Arvada Mayor Mark Williams, who's been, of course, closely monitoring this tragedy and just so closely connected to it. Um, first of all, I just want to ask you how you're doing today, Mayor. You know, this is one of those mornings you wake up and say, I hope that was a nightmare. And it was a nightmare, but a real one. So it's tough. It's tough on our community. Um, we can talk about how resilient folks are and how we're going to come together to get through it. And I'm confident that we will. Absolutely. I know we've seen so many people, you know, they were lining the streets for Officer Beasley. We've heard stories of families who say he just impacted their kids so much. Um, for viewers who have never been to Arvada, tell us a little bit about the community and just how strong you guys are. You know, I, I often joke that Arvada is, you know, Mayberry on steroids. We've got over 120,000 residents, yet it maintains that small town feel. And part of that, of course, is because of Old Town, which is truly the heart of our community. And to have this happen in the heart of our community hurts even more. Yeah, I can't imagine. Tell us, too, about um, Officer Beasley. We've just heard so many positive things about him. You know, how are you guys doing? How's the police department doing right now? You know, and that was one of the things that I woke up to thinking about this morning is, you know, Sunday was Father's Day, and he's got two young children, and they're not going to have their father on Father's Day again, and, and just how impactful that has to be. Our police chief, I went up to be with the family yesterday afternoon. Uh, Arvada, with our police department and with our entire team at the city, is so closely connected. It is truly a family. Um, so we're going to be getting together later today with police officers and their families to offer condolences, to offer support. You know, we believe in our police department in Arvada, and the, the outpouring you saw yesterday of patriotism and of and true appreciation for our police officers exemplifies how people feel about this, that in Arvada. I recently did my state of the city speech and I assured our police chief that this city council and this mayor are not gonna defund our police. We believe in them. Yeah, it was amazing just to see how quickly people came out and lined all along I-70 and it was just an incredible show of support. Um, I've also seen a lot of people talking about wanting to go to the restaurants in Old Town and those businesses to show their support through this tragedy. Um, tell us, you know, what's next for the community and how can people come together to move forward? What they can do is exactly what they did during the pandemic. Uh, it's, it's a situation where our businesses struggled, our restaurants, our, our um, storefronts, all of that, not just in Old Town, but throughout the city you know, had a, a tough time. And we took steps to, to make our bad as old town area more inviting by closing the street. And our citizens responded great. They came out, they, they would do the, you know, the curb stop shopping. They would do all those kind of things before restaurants were able to reopen. And once they reopened, we packed them in and we'll continue to do that through this. We will again come to the aid of our businesses. We will come to the aid of each other uh, to be strong together. Wonderful. And is there anything that the community needs to know about any events or vigils coming up? We have a vigil tonight that will be from 7 to 8 p.m. and that's going to be the first of perhaps many. It's going to be at Peace uh, Lutheran Church that's located at 5675 Field Street and again it's from 7 to 8 o'clock tonight. I will be there um, and I know many others will be as well. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Mayor Williams. We, uh, we appreciate it, and our hearts go out to you guys during this tough time. Thank you. And we'll have more updates as we get them right here on CBSN Denver and cbsdenver.com.